Hello. For this video, I'm going to talk to you about the femoral triangle. And I've got two anatomical models which I'm going to use. So I'm going to start with this modeled leg. Uh, and that's probably the easiest one to show you. And then I'll use the, the pelvis anatomy just to, to fine tune some of the details. So when we're talking about the femoral or femoral triangle, we are looking at this area anatomically of the leg. Um, when I say the leg, it's more around the sort of like groin area. And this is the area in particular here. So you can see the sort of space where we are, well, where I'll be discussing. And if you're looking at a triangle, and the triangle formation will be by this muscle here, which is called the sartorius, which comes from the ASIS, which is the anterior superior iliac spine, and comes down all the way to the pes anterinus, which is the goose foot. We've got this muscle here, which is called the adductor longus. And then where this pointer forms this area here would be known as the inguinal or inguinal ligament. So this would be the structure here, which comes from the ASIS to the pubic tubercle. So this structure will be known as the inguinal ligament. So with the sartorius and the adductor longus, that will form the main structure of the triangle. Now, what we have within, if you think about, say, the triangle from a 3D perspective, um, and we look at, say, the floor of it, so then we've got the adductor longus here, and then deep inside, we've got the muscle of the small adductor, which is known as the pectineus, and also we've got the iliopsoas, which is the iliacus, and the psoas muscle along here. So then that's the, the main structures within the floor. And you can also see this yellow structure, the red structure, and in this case it's more gray. So the yellow structure is the nerve, and then the nerve is the femoral nerve. And the femoral nerve, also known as the femoral nerve, will come from L2, L3, and L4. And then within the structure in here, I can actually remove this sartorius, just there. Then we've got nerve branches, which naturally go off to the pectineus and also the sartorius, and it mainly supplies the quadricep. The femoral nerve continues to be the great saphenous nerve, which supplies the sensation for the medial part of the lower leg. The red structure will be the femoral artery, which is a branch from the iliac, which is a branch from the abdominal aorta coming down. And then this is the femoral vein, and then like the great saphenous vein uh, will drain directly into this and naturally it's on its way back towards the vena cava. The femoral artery and the femoral nerve, they are, you can't see it here, but they're encased in what we call the femoral sheath. And also on this side in here, again, you can't see it, will be known as the femoral canal. And then within the femoral canal, there will be, I think it's like one main lymph node and a bit of fat that is stored like within that. You can actually get like a, a femoral herniation, it's quite rare, uh, but you can get one along that canal. We also have the lymphatic nodes. We've got uh, what we call like the superficial nodes and then this area, the main place for it to drain is like the distal foot. So the web spaces between the toes here. So basically you can have an infection within the foot. And then the first place for the T cells, the lymphocyte cells, to fight the infection will be within the actual inguinal, um, well, the, within the femoral triangle in here. So these are like the inguinal lymph nodes. And there's a superficial chain, and then there is a deep chain. And then from there, they'll eventually go into the thoracic duct, and then back into the um, circulatory system uh, as plasma. So that is the main structures. So just to recap, we'll have the sartorius, the adductor longus, the inguinal ligament, and then the main structures within the femoral nerve, the femoral artery, the femoral vein, and that's the main structures. And then we also got the femoral canal within. And then deep to that will be the pectineus and then the iliopsoas. Thank you for watching, and I hope you liked the video.